She sent America to the moon. Not with rockets, not with fuel, but with mathematics. Katherine Johnson's brilliance turned numbers into liftoff. Born in 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Katherine was a math prodigy. By 13, she was in high school. By 18, she graduated from West Virginia State College with degrees in mathematics and French. At a time when women were told to settle down, she was already solving equations that few men could touch. In 1953, she joined NACA, later NASA, as a human computer, performing calculations by hand before machines existed. Her reputation spread quickly. When astronaut John Glenn prepared for his historic orbital flight in 1962, he refused to launch until Catherine verified the numbers herself. If she says they're good, Glenn said, then I'm ready to go. Catherine's calculations guided the Apollo missions, plotting trajectories that helped astronauts land on the moon and return safely to Earth. Even in a segregated, male-dominated workplace, her brilliance broke barriers and proved that genius has no color and no gender. For decades, her contributions went unrecognized. But in 2015, President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And with hidden figures, the world finally learned her name. Katherine Johnson showed us that sometimes the most powerful engines are the human mind. This is black brilliance.